What do you say when you need the truth? What do you say when you can't get through? What does it take for the heart to choose? What does it take to survive with you? Oh, need some clarity if you still want me. Cause if you don't, then what do you say? Just give me the truth. Tell me where do we stay? Cause I need to know. Oh yeah, don't just leave me hanging. Tell me where do we stay? Cause I need to know. Oh yeah, don't just leave me hanging. Hey guys, oh my goodness, Ruffin, hi Pop, okay, hold on a minute, I'm getting your cheese it, what's up everybody, oh, hi Pop, 
We're back. <laughs> We're back. And I was so worried that, because I haven't done laundry in like two weeks. So I was pretty worried that my Elmo shirt, which is typically my pajama shirt, I was I was worried it was dirty. <laughs> but it wasn't. Blanca, hello there. Say hi. Oh. <laughs> Dead Reavers. Hey, guys. Yes, I'm super excited. We're going to be working on Elmo. Yes, I'm doing good. Um, oh, Rexon did go to the vet the other day, and he's perfectly healthy. His little lumps were just fatty, little fatty masses. So he's, oh my god, other than having gained like five pounds, probably because of all the Cheez-Its, uh, <laughs> I mean, he's like 25 pounds now. He used to be like 20. <laughs> so he's gained some weight since the last time he was at the mat. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh, well, I mean, he's not complaining. I'm not complaining. I think we're fine. Uh, let me switch back to here. I gotta oop, get rid of that. Um, hello. Hey, guys. What's up, everybody? Oh, my gosh. Rex, okay. See, this is why he's gained five pounds. Another year. Well, no, it's still, it's still the, it's, this year is still the year of the moto. It'll change January 1st. <gasps> Crazy! Oh, oh my god, has that almost move. been four years? Oh, and I got, oh, I got little snacks. Little, little snack delivery, I love it. <laughs> there you go, pup, my goodness. How's it going? We're back. We're gonna be working on it. We're in. We're working on it, Elmo. I'm doing good. Um, I did. If you guys want to see, let me show you real quick. I revamped my website, moruxen.com. So if you check it out here, so look at it. We've got a little sleeker looking. So we got some little about about me's and stuff i'm going to here's where i'm going to be doing um well that'll be on my blog post which i've changed the recommendations i'm going to go back to like instead of reviewing i'm just going to do like recommendations so obviously i haven't done one since january of last year <laughs> so you know two years later i guess 19 20 yeah 21 <laughs> two years later i'll get back to like doing more, I guess. Um, some links and stuff. Roxanne, what are you doing? Look at the picture of me and Papa Chiefs. <laughs> and then Instagram down there. But, check it out. So, if you go to the other photo bomb, that was from, this would be my first affiliate. So yeah, like a few years ago. Well, I guess it'd be like almost four years then ago. So 2000, 16, 17, I think. Yeah, so I did update, finally, my previous projects thing. I have it all organized, kind of by, you know, like my little square ones, larger projects, magnets are all in one. And then you scroll like way down here. Some of my old stuff at the bottom. Poops get a whole section of all of their own. Look at all the different poops I've done. And this isn't even all of them. This is just all the ones that I posted photos of. Um, Deadpool gets its own little section. Clothing gets its own little section. And then kind of my mid-size projects all go here. There's my Firefly. Look at that for Dead Reavers. All right in there. And then back to the next there. So that's all updated. But like I said, so I'm going to get back into posting stuff. So I did fix it a little bit. So this is going to be where you can, like, you'll see if you're subscribed. Um, you'll see the archives there, recent posts here. Once I actually get to posting, <laughs> we'll actually get stuff going. Um, I'll, you, you'll see it either be categorized as a TV show. Or, um, oh, you can see your poop. 
Um, or, yeah, it's a TV show, and I may even throw out books, too. Like, I don't know, like, be cool. Because, I mean, I've been reading now, too. I mean, pretty much they're all going to be Dean Koontz. <laughs> Dean Koontz books. Uh, right now I'm reading um, the Frankenstein series for Dean Koontz. Um, because I love that version of it. It's so good. So it's like kind of modern day Frankenstein. So it's like if Frankenstein were real and he's lived for like, you know, like the past, you know, hundreds of years, a couple, 200 years. And now he's like today, and but and then Victor Frankenstein's still alive. So Frank's and Frankenstein's a monster. So both of them live that long. So it's a really, really good series. Like I said, uh, also I'll throw on... Like I said, I've, I just haven't been doing any, anything on here. I think it was just because I was so overwhelmed by how much work it entailed. And it was a long time ago that I set this up. And it's just trying to figure out how I wanted it to look. But I'm much happier with the way it looks now. Like, I'm not ashamed to say I have a website now. Like, obviously it's still very simple. Um, and I don't need it to be, like, excessive or anything. I just want it to be, I want it to be simple and just a place where I can throw out my recommendations. Um, I'm going to get back to, excuse me, I'm going to get back to, um, more floss tube. I need to. I've been really lazy with that. It's been, like, over a month since I've done my last floss tube. So I should be able to do that this weekend. Finn! Oh my gosh, it's been forever! I blame me, because I haven't been streaming, obviously. But I'm gonna... And then it's just been a crazy year. Obviously, it's still my year. Like I said, we've got the website. Website is fixed and looking good. Cross-stitch albums are actually up to date. Finally, it's taken forever. But we got it. We got it taken care of. <laughs> And let's see. Three. Wait, wait. What? <gasps> well, hello! Oh my gosh! Homework! Look at that. Oh, it's like a work from home one. Oh, I love it. And I did get to do that this year. 42 months! Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. Oh my gosh, it's been forever. We've been on forever. There's no way. <laughs> Shoes, you just got one. <laughs> There's no way I would completely quit streaming, I think. Well, I've kind of been on that, like, I don't know if I feel like streaming, don't want to keep streaming, kind of on that iffy, like, stance of I don't know what I want to do. Um, hi. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't see myself, like, yeah, <laughs> I don't see myself fully quitting, but it's really easy to... Take t oh, right here, dummy. There it is. It's really easy to want to take time off and just do your own thing. And it's really helped. Like, I did get my website up to date. And I am going to be d doing more of the writing and YouTube stuff. But, yeah, we're, we're going to keep streaming. And I'm, I'm trying to decide. I think I may go 100% into the creative and not do any gaming. Because I feel like... I feel like it's going to, like, divide my, I don't know. I just think, I, I think if I'm going to go into this, I'm going to go into it all creative. And, yeah. Oh, no, I definitely wouldn't completely disappear. While I may have reclusive moments, I definitely won't disappear. No way. Ruxin makes me want to sometimes. But look, at he's, he's the spotlight, aren't you? Want all the attention and cheese it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we are gonna let me take this display off. So check out. I have been stitching pretty steadily. Get down, get down, get down. Um, I've been stitching pretty steadily on um, Elmo here. Elmo himself is actually pretty much done, <laughs> other than the eyes. Um, I do actually need to do. I know of one more thing I need to do. I may uh, break into that this week after, because I wanted I wanted to work on this tonight. So we're definitely working on this tonight. But my my mother-in-law uh, asked me to stitch something for uh, somebody for a gift for Christmas, and I just realized it's like the ninth. 
so I'm like, shit, I better start it. I mean, it's just, it's just a magnet. It's small, so I should be able to get it done pretty quick. Vicky, thank you for that host. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling really good, though. I feel like... Oh, and I uh, recorded um, a podcast. Let me shout this out. So I didn't re record my own. I was a guest star on my friend. Well, I, guess I say guest star, but I'm like, I was a guest. A guest person. But I'm, also, I'm a star. <laughs> I was a guest on my friend's podcast. Let me get you guys the link. Oh, yeah. Always a star, right? At least in my own mind, I am. Even if we... We are a mid-sized star. I would rather be a mid-sized than like a real big star, right? Oh, you breast stinks. Oh, they did put him on probiotics, my vet did. I told him he has really bad gas and um, he said uh, he could get a, we should try probiotics. So I have to sprinkle this stuff, uh, this little pouch into his food, which he has dry food, so I have to mix it with water and it smells disgusting, <laughs> but I have to do that every day. Uh, for 30 days, we're going to see if it helps with the stinky, awful gas. <laughs> um, so far, I don't know if I've really noticed a change, or maybe he's just not that gassy right now, but yeah, so we're starting that. Um, I am not drinking a white Russian. I'm drinking a, 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 a Coke because I still didn't buy half and half, so, and I didn't feel like wine. I had a, a really heavy leftovers, so I was like, yeah, I'm just going to not drink tonight <laughs> yeah doing i'm just straight up doing doing coke although it's a little coke just a small small line of coke <laughs> don't do drugs i don't endorse drugs unless it's legalized where you live then go at it i don't care <laughs> yeah nice little bump little bump it's the mini ones <laughs> oh but yes yeah, so i want to shout out it's uh, classic, uh, Jake Ryan Baker. Let me find it. Um, wait, it's podcast. I think it's clear tinted. I can't remember the name. <laughs> let me find it. Hold on. Oh, I think I, well, I know I'm subscribed to his YouTube. So let me do that. So that way, God damn it. Okay. You just, let's just go to YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, so he basically is a guy who, um, he's one of my good friends. So he hasn't seen a lot of the classic movies. Like, say uh jurassic park or the godfather like he hasn't like you'd be amazed he loves movies but for a guy who loves movies he hasn't seen a majority of the classics so what he does is um he watches these movies and then he discusses them on his podcast which it's jake oh wait jake B Ryan Baker, that's who it is. Baker. I know I'm on his. There it is. Okay. So here is his channel. Let me see. I think he has playlists. What is it? Oh, Clear Tinted Classics. That's what I that's what I said. So yeah, here is his YouTube. He's also on I think Spotify, Clear Tinted Classics. Podcast. Let me see if I can find the podcast page. There we go. Okay. Yes. So it's clear tinted classics. Be sure to follow because that's where I'm going to be on. We watched Mr. Secret the Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I actually don't know if he's seen Die Hard. <laughs> He has a list of a whole bunch of stuff that he hasn't seen that like people are like, oh my god, see this. Corn muscles! Thank you so much for the resub! Oh my gosh! Oh, Bryson! Yes! Here you are! Wait, do I have high up is one, right? Yes! yes. Or um one a doge, I think. 
Yeah. Gremlin. Yes, Gremlins, I think, is in my top. At least top ten for Christmas movies. Definitely a Christmas movie. Um, but yeah, so I watched, um, well, I've, A League of Their Own is, like, one of my favorite movies growing up. And he hadn't seen it, and I'm like, okay, you got all-star cast, you got a Tom Hanks movie, you've got, yeah, Gina Davis, uh, you just got, what is it, Lori Petty, you got everybody, like, everybody's in it, Rosie O'Donnell, you got freaking Madonna, everybody's in there. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the resub. You can tell I don't stream often because everybody's resubs like go like right to the the same time. <laughs> like everybody. But yeah, oh look and speak loud loud speaker. Ah, there you go. This is why he's gained five pounds since the last vet appointment. <laughs> I don't care. He's my fat baby. <laughs> um so yeah, clear tinted classics. Oh yeah, here you go. Here's the display of what it looks like. So Jake Baker, he's my buddy. We spent like three hours hanging out on Sunday recording the podcast. Um, some episodes he does himself. I've actually only listened to... Um, I only listened to... I think I only listened to Minority Report. Where was that one? Oh, this one, yeah. So, Minority Report, I watched that one just because I'm trying to watch the movie, or I want to listen to his podcast, um, for ones that I've actually seen. Now, I haven't seen Godfather, I think, all the way through, so I think that's one I need to, <laughs> to watch. Um, I mean, I've definitely seen, I've seen Psycho, I've seen Minority Report, Bonnie and Clyde. I feel like I might have watched this one, but like, so I, like, I want to watch them. You haven't seen a lot either? You know what me and my uh, husband are doing? We bought this scratch-off poster where um, it's got like 600 movies and TV shows like that are like must-watch from the last like however many years or last decade and you scratch them off as you watch them. So we are go so <laughs> well, we got them for Christmas. So uh, which I, I just bought it from ourselves <laughs> and so we decided we're gonna do it together whenever we're like looking for something to watch um we'll pick something off of the the poster and then scratch it off so that way we can try and see everything even stuff that we wouldn't necessarily see like actually the other day we watched uh Les Mis because I've never seen it <laughs> and my puppet chief's like I haven't seen it either and I'm like oh well then let's let's do that um <laughs> uh, and I, I loved it the, the Hugh Jackman one um I feel like I might have partially watched the, the, the original, but like, I don't know. So I was like, no, let's watch the newer one. I never, I want to see that one. And then we also watched One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest because I hadn't seen that all the way. Uh, let me see. That was, of course, Jack Nicholson. Bananas. Definitely not what I, I mean, I knew of the premise, but it definitely got, didn't go the way I thought it went. Just because, you know, um, movies and TV shows reference it a lot, like, it, jokily, and so, like, some of the scenes. And so I thought, like, oh yeah, Les Mis was wonderful. I will say I'm not a huge fan of all of the music. Like, some of it is catchy and I like it. Some of it's, like, yeah, just a little too, like, I don't know. It wasn't, it's not, like, my favorite, but it's, I love the story. It was amazing. And I did love the, um, the what is it the tavern like the hotel one what's like keeper of the house that one uh which apparently <laughs> it's funny because that's the song that george sings in seinfeld that he gets stuck in his head <laughs> like keeper of the house or master of the house that's what it is master of the house dun, 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 So I officially, I, I actually had that in my head for a little while. That was one of the songs I liked. Um, but yeah, let's, I, I should probably actually start stitching here. <laughs> so that way we can actually try to get some stuff done. I actually am pretty close to getting this color finished. So I'm going to try and finish this color up in this area. So we should probably actually start. <laughs> um, but what else was I talking about? Oh, uh, so yeah, so definitely give him a follow, Clear Tinted Classics. Like I said, he just started up 
doing this. I think August was, yeah, the very first episode. He did say he marks them explicit, so that way it's like an explicit podcast so he can cuss and do all of the things. But she said it in the podcast episode when he was talking to me, and I'm like, oh, I, I already know. I trust me. I was, I listened to your, one of the episodes just to make sure I knew what I was getting into. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna, and oh, you know what I'm gonna do, too? So, like, my, so the problem is with my website. So my website I set up, got the domain and everything from motorruxin.com, right? Well, my other website, the Motorruxin Reviews, that one I did primarily my movie reviews and such, which I was reviewing everything. It wasn't necessarily a recommendation, but I may, what I may do is take some of the ones I've already written and transfer those over to my actual, like, blog page within in my recommendation section, so it's gonna be like a time-consuming thing. I just have to read through and decide which ones I would recommend and which ones I wouldn't. So yeah. Oh, you're playing Radio Bingo! Oh, very nice! I love bingo. I actually really like the, um, I bought a couple scratch-off tickets today uh, just because I wanted to break a 50 and I kind of felt bad like asking for so much back so I was like I'll buy like 20 bucks worth of lottery tickets whatever or um scratch offs so I bought the one where it's like uh I like the bingo ones or like the word search ones where it's like or not search but yeah like crosswords where you like have so many letters and you get, if you get so many words like you get money all of them were losers but they're still fun to do like I enjoyed myself doing that um, let's see what else. Nope, I won absolutely nothing. <laughs> but, you know, after my birthday incident this year where we went to the uh, casino and I lost a whole bunch of money, a couple hundred dollars, but then I decided on a last ditch effort the next day to buy a scratch off ticket and I won $500. <laughs> I still have, you know, a tender place in my heart for, for cross, cross, or not cross, I almost said like cross stitching. Get down, Roxanne. Um, for scratch offs. Like, they're just so fun. Um, every now and then, I, well, I'm in a couple, uh, lottery pools with people where we get, like, lottery tickets every week, so I don't buy those as much as I, like, I like scratch offs. Scratch offs are fun. Bath. Yeah, that was probably, that's the most money I ever won on a scratch-off was, uh, $500. And it was awesome. <laughs> I would recommend 10 out of 10. Super fun when you win money. <laughs> when you're losing, it sucks. But yeah, there you go. That was my lucky, luck of the year. I feel like now I'm tapped out on luck. But yeah, definitely. I think I won that on... I like to try to buy the ones that are new, only when you, when, when you play. Yeah, exactly. If you don't play, you don't win. Um, I like to buy the ones that are new or like seasonal, because I feel like I feel like they want to push those more, because like if you win on those, then you're going to like buy them more. So I try to buy those over, and yeah, the bingo ones are fun. I think I won like 50 bucks on a bingo one before. They're pretty fun. Okay. And now, oh, like I said, I'm gonna switch back over here so it's a little brighter, so I'll be able to see. All right, we need to go. We're doing this color here, 918, two, three. So it's a lot more of the darker part of the flame up here. So we just gotta. It's a lot of counting on for this, um, but yeah. I don't want to get too much into his eyes right now just because it's like a whole bunch of color change. I want to kind of work on colors that um, have a lot to it so that way I can try and get a lot done. So my goal tonight would be to, now that I've quit yapping so much, I just had so much to like say. Um, now I can like actually get to stitching, <laughs> get a lot done. Oh, yeah, we got to run. It's good to see you, too. Hey, no, I'm so glad that you popped in. Especially when I haven't been here for a while, I always feel like, I hope there's still, like, people here to, like, 
hang out, right? <laughs> like, I would totally understand if people, like, have other stuff to do. Especially when, with how inconsistent I'm being. But, you know, yeah, just have, even, a cu like, a couple people, my, my, my usuals. Just knowing you guys still want to come back and talk to me. It makes me feel good. Um, this is a Muppet. This is Elmo. Elmo. Elmo on fire. I love this meme. I will say I'm still second in the league. My, um, fantasy football league. And, uh, Papa Teeps is number one right now. So, trying to kick his booty this season. We'll see. It's very close. Like, the top four people are all very, very close. So, very nervous for the next couple weeks. I think we only have like four more weeks or three. One, yeah, I think this is the last week before playoffs, and then there's just two, two more. So, yeah, I'm like really nervous here. Alrighty. So. Here we go. So it looks like I'm gonna try to get as much of this done as possible. So I'm going to have a lot. Oh, Elmo's your favorite. Oh, so you should totally recognize him. He's down here. See, look at his little face. <laughs> he is so totally representative of the year 2020. <laughs> But you know what? Hey, 2020 is almost over, and hopefully things will just get better, you know? 2021, I like how 2020 was the year of the moto, but 2021, we, I should change it to another year of the moto. <laughs> or year of the moto number two. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it's it's been a crazy year, but things have gone good for me. I know the whole world is crazy, but life's still been good, so I can't complain. I can't complain at all. Um, so this weekend, I'm trying to think what all I need to do. I know I need to be make, like, Christmas cookies for everybody. Um, so that'll be a time-consuming thing. <laughs> Um, Saturday, my, I, my car is getting worked on, maintenance, just regular, you know, run-of-the-mill maintenance. Um, and then, I'm trying to think what all we have this weekend, I don't think we have, but I know I want to record, I want to record a, another floss tube, so that may be my weekend thing that I try to do. Yeah, like my Christmas shopping is already all done, so that's nice. Um, yeah, we'll see what all. But um, yeah, this year is definitely gonna be a year where I crack down on <laughs> the year the Ruxin. <laughs> right? He did. We did take him to the vet, and he's healthy boy. So he's healthy man. But I feel like if it's Moto's year, it should also be Ruxin's year. He basically is me. So he goes hand in hand with year of the, the Moto. Right, Pop? It was kind of like his year. We worked for, we've been working from home. And Papa Teeps have been working from home all year. So um, we've been home with him a lot more. So he's enjoyed it. He's enjoyed this year. Definitely enjoyed it. Right, baby? Yeah. Little monkey. All right. Let's keep working on Elmo here. Which this is the one where I'm going to occasionally need to be marking off what I've already got done. Because it's like really difficult to uh, keep track of everything. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so this is one of the colors we're actually laying in a lot of just how big it's going to be. So, like, that's the end of it there, and that's the end of it here. So, it's not going to be super huge in size. Um, but 
It's super detailed. <laughs> um, I'm just drinking Coke. Some Coke today. Because I'm out of half and half, so no white Russian. And I had a drink with dinner, and I didn't drink at all, so I figured I'll just drink. Drink some soda. Okay. Let's see here. So this chunk here is where there's this color is, so we should be able to finish finish all of this. I know there's a little bit more of this color um, a lot, like kind of far away from other stuff, so I didn't want to stitch that until I had more uh, other colors laid in, so this won't be a completely finished color, but most of it's done, so that's nice. Okay, so I got that done. So I'm going to mark off what I've gotten done thus far. I've been using this marker <laughs> that I actually had to buy when um, I was taking like a uh, drawing class. But it smells really strong and I love it. So this is what I have currently going on here. So I just have to mark off what we've stitched as we go here and there. So that way it'll help make it easier to see where we're at. Okay, so that's good. Alright. So we do just need to come up. Up here. And then we'll work our way down. I should only need one or two threads, threads, <laughs> threads, to finish out this last area of this color. So we should be able to jump to another color here very soon. With doing this on 28 count, which is what we're working on, because you know it's very, very tiny. Um, excuse me. Um, I'm able to like stitch a lot faster. No, this is Elmo. <coughs> this is Elmo wearing jeans. Isn't it silly? My my brother bought this shirt and then he decided he didn't want it so he gave it to me like forever ago. Um, because uh, I like big baggy shirts. Oh, you can only see the eyeballs. Yeah, look, there, there's Elmo. Cause that's who we're working on. And I was like, oh shoot, I have an Elmo shirt. So I had to wear my Elmo shirt to match the, the Elmo. Yeah. Oh, and so, I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, oh, and I think I actually need to, let me see if I can't, a slideshow. Let's edit this. I need to make this bigger. So check it out. I updated our slideshow. So you should notice um, a whole bunch of stuff in there now that maybe wasn't in there last time um, because I finally have all of the photos, all my current projects in there. Old ones, uh, new ones, everything is updated now. So now I'm gonna have to remember as I get stuff done to take photos of it, like of new stuff and include that. <laughs> Monsters wearing pants, WTF, <laughs> right? They're adorable. <laughs> we need a photo of the list. Oh, the list, yeah. Oh man, I don't even want to look at the list because I just haven't even touched it in forever. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about it. I'm just selectively burnt out and like not wanting to work on it. <laughs> I actually, and I don't have any current commissions. I did finish a commission, which was the Letter Kenny logo on the t-shirt. I do need to get into more t-shirts as well. Um, I have one that I owe a friend. And like I said, I have a magnet that my mother-in-law wants me to make for her for a gift for somebody. Um, so yeah, need to get that done. I have so many things I need to get done that I'm just like, oh. And then I'm just like, you know, randomly, of course, decide I'm going to get back to working on my website. So it's like all the things that I want to do 
that I've suddenly kind of got this little drive of motivation. So I like, I need to get, I, I need to take advantage of my motivation and try to like channel it to get stuff done. Obviously I've still been working on Elmo here cause I got a lot done with him, but could always get more done. Could always get more things. But trust me, I, I am aware <laughs> of my list. It hangs over my head. And I can't even remember who I was supposed I think I was supposed to be working on Nathan Grissom's, maybe? I can't even remember whose stuff I was supposed to send. Ugh. It's just so many things. I can't remember now. Yeah, everything happens on my time. Moto time. <laughs> um, I don't think it's not. Yeah, it's not a command. It's just a emote. It's I think it's just an emote. <laughs> Which oh I did. So if you're on a browser, and you go to um the about like or the like section that has all of the um you know what can I think of it. What do you call? Uh, it's in the. Uh, what can I think of what they're called? The little sections of information under the stream. What was that called? Uh, panels. Jesus, I couldn't think of the name. Panels. So in the panels, I added one for emotes. So I think as long as you're in a browser, you should be able to see all of the emotes, including the BTTV emotes. So I feel like that will be a lot nicer for people who like to use all the emotes. <laughs> it's like an extension that I added. It's super cool. But that's a new thing. Like I said, I'm trying to, trying to do stuff that I've just been putting off and haven't been doing, so. <laughs> yeah. Aw, look at him. Feels merry, man. Oh my goodness. I feel merry, man. It's only like 16 days till Christmas now. It's insane how quick it's coming. Right, Rexon, get down. Get down. Why are you wet? Oh, I'm licking himself. Why are you wet? Hmm? What are you wet for? Weird. Shouldn't be wet. A wet dog. Okay, let's see here. Okay. All the way down. And then Trying to see where. Oh, yeah, I should be able to go. Okay. Oh, I see what I need to do. I need to come up here, down, and then back up. Okay. I see my path now that I must. I must take. <laughs> Thea! Hey there! The closet basically exploded. I will say this is much cleaner than it has been. I've been in Christmas mode, so a lot of wrapping, a lot of moving stuff around, and I had some things that I needed to ship recently, so of course I was like, crap, where is all my shipping stuff? Oh, it's in the closet, and I was looking for, I was looking for more scotch, or yeah, scotch tape, because so I ran out of that while I was wrapping presents, and I was like, I know I have more, but it's like, hidden little places around this room and I couldn't find a new thing of <laughs> scotch tape but I did find it in there. I just never closed the closet back up because of reasons. Because <laughs> reasons, right? But look at how much I've gotten done. And like I said, let me see, did I get, do I have a thing for website? I do. So this will take you to the previous project section of the website. I should have it just take it to home, but I don't know. You go there and it'll take you to the previous projects list, which is fully up to date now. 
Um, and then I'm also going to be starting to write more recommendations for stuff. Um, which of course I've not done in a long time. So I'm gonna do my best to be better and do more things. Cause I feel like, I feel like with the new year coming, it's the perfect time to refocus and decide what makes me happy. <laughs> like what I like to do. So I'm going to yeah, reevaluate and kind of figure out what I'm going to be focusing my attention on. Obviously, I'm going to keep streaming. Um, but yeah, I want to try to like kind of do different things that I know I like. I've been reading more. I read a whole book. It's like the first time I finished a book in a long time. <laughs> Kelsey, I am doing wonderful. How are you? Here is Rex. Here's Mr. Ruxin. Right here. <laughs> Moto, Rex, it makes you happy. Right? He does. He does. And I have, I have finally, he went to the vet. And that's one thing I needed to be very uh, better about, which would be getting him looked at. So he is healthy. We're trying to fix his gas, so we're trying a probiotic for him for stinky farts. <laughs> so we'll see. We're, we're working on bettering ourselves in all kinds of different Well, bless you! In all kinds of different ways. But yeah, Roxanne definitely makes me very happy. It's actually still been nice enough outside that I, I took him for a walk after work. So he got his dog, dog walk. He keeps me held- Oh, bless you! God. He sneezed so hard his his face hit the ground. Less cheeses. Well, no. See, actually, I have been haven't been streaming very long. He has those stinky, awful farts when I haven't streamed for weeks. He just he always has stinky farts. <laughs> stinky dog farts are just rucks, and he's always had had clear the room farts, and I just never really did too much. I mean, he is on a, a pretty all-natural, like, food. So I, I do know changing his food was helpful. But still, he still has stinky dog farts. <laughs> He's just a stinky dog, so I feel like that's, that's just the way of things. <laughs> yeah, eating every ha eating literally poop. Oh, yours has stinky farts too? Oh, so my vet recommended, yeah, obviously, like, you do, like, natural foods and stuff, which I told my vet. I was like, no, I already have my natural foods, so uh, we're good there. Like, I do blue buffalo, just, like, the natural, like, adult dog food. Um, maybe even senior, I don't know. But um, he, let's see, he's, he's also on a, a joint vitamin treat. And I give him dental chews, so we are covering all our bases there, but my vet started him on a probiotic, which is like a little pouch. We have like 30 days worth, and you sprinkle it in their food, which if you have dry food, you gotta get it wet and then mix it in with the food so it sticks. Um, and I will let you guys know if that helps Rex and Stinky Pooper Farts. Um, yeah, I was like, now you're really an old man. Oh, you start a probiotic chew. Very nice. I almost want to ask if they have a chew instead, because that would be so much easier. I mean, I pretty much just do it every morning that I get his food, so it's not too big of a pain, but I just got to remember to do it. I actually put the little probiotic in his bag of food, like the box, so that way I wouldn't forget them. So it's kind of just become a habit that I do it every day. So, I mean, if it's not going to help at all, uh, then I'll stop when I run out. But for now, I'm trying to at least do it the whole 30 days to see if it helps. Maybe it will. But yeah, no, this dog, like, he is literally a little old man. Like, he'll he'll be walking and just toots as he, he walks. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, why are you so gassy? Like, ridiculous gassy. <laughs> I don't get it. It's definitely not just the cheese's fault. <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't need Cheez-Its, but he does have those stinky farts even when he hasn't had Cheez-Its in a long time. 
Oh, no go for you. Oh, the other dog was still- Yeah, Rexon is the only pupper, so I don't have to worry about other dogs getting into his food. So that's a good thing. I'm gonna turn my fan on real quick, because it's really hot in here. Like, crazy hot, suddenly. Just having, like, my computer running as we stream, I think it just gets so hot. Like, bleh. I was gonna wear my, um, my Sesame Street, uh, um, uh, pajama pants, but I realized they were dirty. I was excited that my t-shirt was clean though. I was worried that one wasn't clean, but here we are. Got to dress to the theme of the theme of stream. Theme stream. Or stream theme. There you go. Okay. Let's see here. We are working up here we'll like to work our way back down here soon there's just so much to stitch and I don't want to mess up or miss cow or anything so we just gotta be extra careful and I have I've been pretty good I don't think I've had any major mess ups I think I have had to to frog when I realized I was off by one on something, but it was only like 10 stitches, so it wasn't the worst I've ever had to frog, but it was still like, ugh. Oh, probiotic would be okay for any dog, but if you're targeting treatment or using medicine, oh yeah, that'd be an issue, right? True. Well, and because um, I know they said they, like my vet said to make sure I only put a small portion of his food in with the probiotics that way i know for sure he's eaten all of it uh because that's the thing is they need to eat the entirety of the pouch so like if you were mixing it in a dog's food and another dog ate it it wouldn't be like doing you wouldn't be getting all of the medicine that they need so it would probably be pretty like useless i guess so that's why like yeah sharing food would wouldn't really help his mushy business and gassiness. Oh, good. So, like, the chew has been working. See, Ruxin, it's interesting because Ruxin doesn't have issues with, like, mushy, icky poop, but he's just gassy. So, like, I don't know. Maybe it'll help. Which, I mean, thank goodness he's never had that issue. Um, he just has stinky toots. So, that's why we're on the probiotic. He's always, he's never, yeah, he's never had an issue with that. He's always been pretty regular <laughs> in that department, which has been good. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, oh no, you're supposed to sharder. Oh, jeez. <sighs> that would be the worst. Oh. Papa Team, Papa Team says if that ever happens, he's getting the boot. And I'm like, no, you won't. We'll just, we'll just deal with it as we come along with that. Hopefully in his old age he doesn't become a charter. Oh, gross. Ugh. That would be so nasty. I mean, I guess we've all done it, so it's like, they can't help it, you know? It's just one of those things. They can't help how their, their poops are. Only we can help them. But yeah, so that's why he's on that medicine. <laughs> Hopefully it helps. We're, we're hopeful. Rexon would wear diapers. Oh yes, definitely. He would hate it, but I'd be like, it's this or you're getting the boot, pupper. So you better wear it. <laughs> Doggy diapers, let's go. That's actually really adorable and funny. I like it when people put monkeys in those little diapers. Like I know it's like totally not cool to like own monkeys, but like, cause it's like dangerous and it's not good for the monkey, but I'm just like, man, you see a little monkey and clothes and stuff and like diapers, it's just, it's just so cute. So adorable. But yeah, and then at the same time, it's like, okay, Becky, that monkey's gonna bite your face and it's gonna be your fault. <laughs> so, you know? 
Yeah, I mean, I think, I, th I, I think it will. I feel like he's been doing good with eating it pretty consistently. We've only been on it for, like, uh, not even a week, so. I don't know for sure if it's helping or if it's just, like, you know, kind of a little stretch where he's just maybe not that gassy, so we'll, we'll see. If it stays this way. Yeah, no. Oh, it really is, like, chemical warfare. It's, like, straight up like cow emissions like it's that bad like it's oh it's gross you can tell when it's him too <laughs> like it's just so strong the let me see what that picture is yeah so this uh, right up here is like kind of like the top of the flame up there so it's really coming along and it's looking really good so I'm excited I'm not going to stitch the black because I'm just going to leave the black background as the black. So it's not going to be totally full coverage, but I think it'll look good. Uh, thank you. I Yeah, this has been like my... Uh, get down. You don't need to be up here all the time. No, get down. <laughs> this has been like my gif of the year is the Elmo. <laughs> I get inspired to do stuff and then I'm just like, I have to do it. Although it takes me a while to finally get to that point where I'm like, all right, I need to finally make this pattern. <laughs> but hey, we're finally there. If we could get through Stitch Mania, we could get through anything. <laughs> we got this. And you know, the holidays coming up with Christmas, so I'll have plenty of stitchy time to enjoy at home and do nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. I'm excited. thread but should be able to get a little bit more to here just have this little bit left like kind of in here so I just need to finish that yeah I'm really excited to see what he'll look like all done it's gonna be amazing and then I'll decide if I want to keep him or if I'm gonna end up selling him I don't know see what I decide. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. Who knows, I may finish him and decide I want to keep him. <laughs> Could very well happen. Been watching a bunch of cross stitchers, so I'm getting that. I want to cross stitch vibes. <gasps> you should. So I know I know you're really knit things. Um, do you only knit, or do you know how to cross stitch too, or like you just want to tr like learn how to cross stitch? Oh, you've done those. Oh, yeah, kits with the. Or, oh, you the kits. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like counted cross stitch isn't too much different. 
It's just, instead of having the X's already there, you just have to count. So, I mean, as long as you know the basics of that, you totally, totally can do it. Oh, put some twinkling fairy lights behind it. Oh, that's brilliant, Mohalo. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I wonder if I could find, like, light-up frames. Light. Christmas light frames. Or, well, I don't want to do, like, light up. Picture frame. I want just like one that like, oh, oh yeah, like this. So like, look at this. It's like stuff like that where there's like lights. That would be really cool. Like, cause I don't want like LED light. I want like the sprinkly like fairy. Oh, like this! What is this? I wish that would do it, like... That's pretty cool! It's like, how? Oh, out of stock. I'd have to figure out how to do that. But that's pretty cool. It's actually really neat. Like, it would light up. That would be awesome. That would be pretty fun. Alright. Now we'll come down. But yeah, I'm gonna have to look into that. That'd be really neat if I could figure out a way to rig that. It'd be really neat. finish this color which is gonna be really nice to have a color done other than like I said there's like a couple little spots like over on the far right that are higher up that I would need to wait till I get another color laid in but I'm pretty sure because I can't count all the way up to there <gasps> panda oh my goodness Hello, hello. I am well. How are you? Your old girl got new shoes. Does that mean like your car? Hey, <laughs> go pop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got a new race car. Oh, very cool. Very nice. Well, I'm excited for you. That's awesome. I'm gonna fill this in real quick. Alright. Fill that in, and I think I got to here. That in. I may want to just go ahead and rock some shoosh. I may want to go ahead and tie off here. Well, no, actually, I'm going to do this row of four, and then I can start down there, and that'll be a good spot. <gasps> oh no! Oh, you 
hosted? When did you host, corpse? I didn't hear an alert go off for you. Did you really? <laughs> I didn't I didn't hear I didn't hear the alert. <laughs> oh, corpse. Solar, hi there. Oh, you're new to Twitch. Well, welcome. Yes, so this is cross stitching. I have been cross stitching for since I was a little kid, and we've been cross stitching on Twitch for over five years now. So it's it's pretty great. <laughs> I love it. I've also started a floss tube. Ah, oh, Solar, thank you for the follow. Um, I also have floss tube. Yeah, I have a floss tube, and I also have a great website here that I'm, I'll push that a little bit more. And of course, all the socials, all the social stuff. Or wait, socials? Maybe I broke it. Oh, there it is. It's socials, plural. I broke it. It was too much shouting, self self promotion, apparently. Nightbot's like, calm down. <laughs> With all your excitement. Too excited, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm, I'm trying to get into all kinds of things. I'm trying to do a lot of stuff. We'll see. We'll see what all I actually stick with. I mean, like I said, I, want, I know I want to do another floss tube this week. I've just been, it's been so busy lately. And it's been hard to find the time. So we'll see. Oh wow, that sounds like a lot. You mentioned that, oh, you're watching you to the hubby and he finally remembered you as the one that makes poop. Yes, that's right, I am the poop person. I did update, uh, so yeah, there's a poop. I updated my previous projects list, which is that website link. And I have a whole section of just poops like poop album a lot of poops <laughs> and that's not even all the poops I've ever made it's just like a bunch of different poops I tried to do like I tried to not like repeat the same ones over and over and over again so it's just like a nice poop variety work is going really good um it's almost review time annual review which would be when I would get, like, which when they would do bonuses and raises. So I'm hoping, hoping for good stuff. Good stuff this year. I've been working really hard this year. I mean, I, I work hard all the time, but I've kind of proven myself to be a very valuable member of the team. So I'm hoping it pays off and they, they give me a nice, nice bump again. <laughs> Oh, you only speak Spanish. Oh, you're using a translator, but you'll watch my videos. Oh, yes. Awesome. Oh, really cool. I actually know someone who uh, used to live in Brazil. Uh, he actually went there uh, to be with a girl, and then they ended up breaking up, but he ended up staying in Brazil anyway, because he loved it. So, get down. Or, no, not, Bra not Argentina. Brazil. I guess he went to Brazil. I was thinking... I was thinking of Brazil because I saw the B. You know, so you're from Argentina, yeah? Because in Brazil they speak Portuguese. That's right. I was mixing up my in my head. I just like went. I saw B and I was like, oh Brazil. <laughs> Ooh, it's Marcus Malley. Do you have any suggestions for sizes or brands? Okay, so if you're a newbie, I would recommend, uh, as far as sizing, um, so the count of your Ada cloth would be the how big the squares are. So 14 count Ada is the best for beginners. Um, DMC thread, most patterns utilize DMC thread. Um, and Etsy has a ton of great stuff. Um, I will actually recommend my friend. Uh, she has a lot of great beginner uh, YouTube videos. Yes. So 
here i'm subscribed to her check her out she has a lot of beginner like tutorials so like how many threads you want to use how to do french knots like how to read a pattern so like she'll be like her beginner videos will be really helpful for like that so definitely check her out yeah she's got good stuff she's starting up she started up a floss tube as well so it's exciting yeah, and she seems to be doing very well with it. She's doing a little better than I am with, uh, I'm not doing, being very consistent with making videos. It's been, like, over a month since my last one, but I do plan on getting back to that eventually. We'll see. Maybe I should, I should finish this out. Let's just go down. I'm gonna go down there. I should have enough thread to go down into this area. I might as well rather than waste a bunch of my next thread. Oh, no, I wanna go back to... Uh, 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 we'll go back to there, it lights up a little better, so having like a white window pulled up will help make it brighter. It's kind of my own natural like spotlight for my, <laughs> my project is just my computer monitor. Oh, you don't get the number of thread and stuff for your... Oh, okay, at the actual stitching. Yeah, so for me, I recommend... Uh, I, and it, a lot of that is just preference. It's kind of just, like, how much coverage you're going to use. So, like, if you're... Um, if I'm stitching on 14 count, which the squares are a lot bigger, I, I typically will use three strands just because I like... The squares to be like super colored so you can't see the, the cloth through it um, for 18 count uh, 18 to 22 count I use two strands because they're smaller you don't need as much it gets bunched up if you have three um, and then for 28 count you only need one because they're super tiny <laughs> that's right they're so little right um, Blanco, you're always so sweet. So Floss Tube is a YouTube, ch so it's like a YouTube video, like a series of videos that um, a, a person on YouTube will do where it's kind of like just a video diary where you show off and kind of talk about what you're stitching, stuff you've gotten done, works in progress is. Um, so it's kind of like Twitch, <laughs> like, but... It's more of like a diary. So it's like I would record it ahead of time and kind of like talk to you guys about what I've been working on rather than like stitch. So that, so like Twitch I use to, to stream my stitching live. The YouTube I use it to um, talk to you about um, like like just basically show off what I've been working on um, so kind of like for people who aren't on Twitch they can see what I've done what I've made stuff like that yeah pretty it's pretty good good stuff there's all kinds of stuff that you can watch lots of people to follow it's kind of a, a, a great big world of stuff crazy how much is out there for you to watch especially I mean if you're as big into cross stitch as I am there's definitely plenty plenty to check out stitches so actually I'm kind of cool that I, I'm glad that I decided to come down here and stick to this area so I need to grab one more strand to go up higher but this at least will finish out 
this bottom chunk. I actually had like just enough thread to do so. So that worked out to my advantage. Glad. Glad we opted to do that. There we go. So let me color that. Trying to keep your hobbies main saying Craft Stitch keeps calling you. Yes, it is. It is my favorite. It's my favorite thing in the world. For sure. Smells good. Yeah, you'll have a shit list too. Yeah, everyone that creates has a tendency to create a lot of things. And so this is like my my big piece that I have currently ongoing. I have another one for, um, which I don't know if I'm going to keep doing. I mean, I want to do that Paps Blue Ribbon one, but I don't know. I'm kind of burnt out on Paps Blue Ribbon. I've already won that competition twice. I might take a year off and not work on that. <laughs> um, Rexon's around. He keeps begging like a naughty butt. He's not in the room. He's, I think, out in the hallway. Yeah. He's around. Always around. Lingering. In earshot of Cheez Its. <laughs> Always in earshot. Oh, I think you can see him right there. Yeah. That's his, that's his body. That black spot in the hallway. Oh, yeah. A big emphasis on the butt. Definitely. That's where all the bad gas comes out of. <laughs> Stinky butt. I thought he might have been coming in here. Sometimes he can tell when I've been talking about him and then he thinks he can beg for more snacks. Which again, that's how he's kind of gained so much weight. And I mean, it's only five pounds, but I mean, for a dog, that's like a fifth of his body weight that he gained. He's <laughs> just gained in the last, you know, year, I guess. I mean, that's what you do when you get older. You gain weight and you lay around. <laughs> I mean, and he's actually gotten more exercise in the past year. So maybe it's just muscle. Pop Chief says, said maybe it's muscle. And I'm like, eh, I don't know. I don't know about that. But maybe it is. <laughs> maybe it is just muscle. He's a muscly boy. He's just too strong. Super strong pupper. Okay, we're gonna... Ooh, let's do this. We're gonna start... Here. Okay, so like I said, this is the last stretch of this color for the most part. I'm not marking it off my list because I know I need it in two other spots. Further to the right. So I'm gonna obviously need that. And I mean, even if I mark it off, like, it won't matter. I can still see through this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. COVID pounds don't count. Very true. Lexian! Hey there, how's it going? We are here, and we are stitching more elbow. Look at him in all his glory. I'm getting a lot of the flame laid in as of late, so I'm really excited to see as I get different colors of the flame laid in, how it starts to look. Like right now I'm doing kind of the out, outer part. So like there's brighter, it, like closer to him. So maybe I'll do a bright color next. Work on that. <laughs> Thank you. I'm doing really good. Um, kind of taking a couple weeks to like think about what I really want to focus my efforts on in the coming year, you know, because of, you know, December is kind of that month where you're like, all right, think about what you want to do, what you want to accomplish. So kind of been thinking about what I'm going to focus my eff efforts on. You love the, I know the derby memes are like some of my favorite for sure. <laughs> for sure. So yeah, so it's just gonna be like, kind of figure out who I, you know, who I want to be. Oh yeah, the fudge Jesus painting. 
Oh my god, I love that so much. <laughs> I was actually watching, um, so I, I really like the YouTube channel, um, Red Letter Media. They do, uh, reviews on, like, terrible, like, they watch horrible, awful movies, like, VHS tape quality movies, and then they talk about them. Uh, one of them, like, somebody... It's basically like a home movie kind of thing where they wanted to film a, a movie, but it was terrible production value. And instead of like going to like Goodwill and trying to find like a framed picture of Jesus staying in a church, somebody like painted one and it's so bad. It's like that level, like fudge Jesus painting bad. Like someone like literally like thought, hey, I'm really good. We can just, I'll just, I'll draw, I'll draw Jesus. It's bad. <laughs> but then everyone will know this is a church because there's Jesus. Jesus. Okay. There we go. last area and we're almost done with this flame color so that's cool on my table and bother my mic. Way too high. Way too high. What's the difference between the square canvas holders and the ring ones? Oh, okay. So I find that so the Q snap, which is this square one, is the best. Um, it's really easy to uh, snap on, and it's really easy to to take off. So like all you do, I use a little piece of felt that I just trim down uh, to about this size to protect my cloth. But it literally just snaps on and you can control the tightness. So this is the square thing. It's just kind of like PVC piping type thing. And then you just snap it on. Now this piece is kind of small, so I didn't stretch all the way across to the top, but I still like it to hold on to, to keep it tight and easier to stitch on. I've never liked hoops. I mean, you can use like ring ones if you want, but for me personally, I don't like those. They may be better for like smaller pieces, um, but I feel like if you leave your piece in the ring, it like is really, really bad, um, like creases in your cloth and it just can be really damaging to it. I like, um, that's why I like the Q-Snap. Like, I can leave this in here for, like, a year, and it will still iron out. Like, it'll still... It won't damage the cloth any. Okay. 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 Okay.
little area and we're done with this color for now you can never maintain the tint yeah hoops that's that's what I like about the Q snap I think if you get a Q snap you'll really really like it because it's like I said it's super easy to tighten and it maintains so if it does get loose you just kind of do that and it tightens it up again very nice and tight like it's even kind of springy if you can hear it, that's pulled so tight. So yeah, I think I, I would recommend Q-Snap for sure. Like, especially for bigger projects. They're really easy to move and take off and put on. But again, I will say if you get a Q-Snap, like I said, just use a, a thin piece of fabric. Like, felt works just fine to put underneath the Q-Snap. So that way, or the actual snap. <laughs> so that way... It doesn't damage the eight of cloth to like drag across it. I like it just to have that extra layer of protection that way. <laughs> we'll make a good Christmas present for sure. stitches over here then we go up into like one little area and then we're um, thank goodness then I can switch colors you should have your dissolving pieces you did on the hats and shirts oh he's ready to buy all the cross stitch things yes there's so much stuff that you can do um but yeah definitely you can stitch on clothing it takes some practice but it is really fun for sure yeah, the ability to stitch and then have the, like, cloth dissolve is really cool. That's, like, a really fun thing I recently tried. <laughs> and it worked out really great, so I'm, like, ready to do more. I'm ready. Actually, I have one in mind that I do need to do before I, like, stitch up more, more things. I will say, I do have an Etsy. Um... If you uh, are looking for cool patterns or if you are looking for stuff that's already stitched, I have a lot of stuff on there. <laughs> yeah, moto poop merch. I do have a lot of, I do have some poops, some cross stitch poops for sale right now. Could buy your own moto poop. <laughs> I should stitch some poop on some clothes. Some actual cross stitch clothes.
Oh, you're fine. You're fine. No, you're fine. Oh, yeah, cute little poop with your... Yeah, with a have a nice poop. Yeah, I have a lot of framed ones of those. But yeah, that would be really cute on a shirt, too. He's very protective. Must protect the household from all the spoopy things. He is very concerned for our safety. <laughs> yeah, and the window sometimes, like, when it's, like, cold and out and hot inside, like, the window settles and it, like, makes these terrible, like, sounds. Loud, like, cracking sound almost. Like, it's just, like, gonna bust. Like just from the pressure that scares the Jesus out of him. <laughs> to like kind of like start closer to him and build out because I kind of started out outside of him I mean over here it's kind of close to him but I really need to like build more of that in oh one of yours is 120 pounds he'll bark after he hides behind you oh my god that's so cute Ruxin will sometimes like come to me for protection from Papa Teeps when they're like playing or he's like chasing him he'll come like hide behind me I'm like you get out of here with that I'm like no you're on your own dude like, you fight your own battles. Come hide behind mom. What a dork. So this is my pattern that I'm looking at. It's crazy. There's so much to do. It's split into two pages here. So this is what I've gotten done thus far. Like I said, there's a little bit more of this color like right there and there, but it's so far away from what I've stitched right now. I'm going to wait until I lay other stuff in before I stitch that. So there's like four stitches there and two up here. So I'm going to wait for now. But for the most part, this color is done. Woo woo! Like, spread out throughout all this. It's pretty much done. So I'm not too worried about that. Let's go ahead and tie this off. Like so. Okay. Is it easier to go out to in or into out? Well, so basically when you're starting a bigger piece or any piece really, um, you want to start in the middle. So like if you have a big square of eight o'clock, uh, most cross stitches will have like a center point. Like if you were to fold your eight o'clock in half both ways, that point right there is your middle. So. That way you know that your piece is in the middle of whatever cloth 
So I always start in the middle and then I work out from there. So it definitely helps to work out from that point because it's really easy to miss count if you're trying to jump around too far. So like basically what I've been doing, so like I say I, I wanted to do it kind of color by color, get a lot of one done laid in. And I did that mostly with Elmo, like laying in some of his reds. Like I would lay him in, cause he actually most of the red is just him. So I'd go kind of a red, then do a different shade of red and lay all him in. Um, because then I can make sure I didn't miscount anywhere. And I can do that sooner rather than later if I kind of stay in a one general area. Um, and then from there, I just kind of build out. So like I can count this area to here. Once I've gotten to that point, I can kind of branch out from there. Yeah, it's definitely safer <laughs> because if you miscount and say you stitch too far away in, in the wrong spot, it, there's not a nice easy eraser where <laughs> you have to like rip it out and it really sucks. <laughs> so definitely want to try to not mess up. That's the most important thing. <laughs> Don't mess up. But yeah, this is, this is what, oh, oops, knocked into stuff. This one didn't look like when he's all done. I'm so excited. It's gonna look so cute. Gonna be awesome. All right, so let me see what color, what color is 741? It's that bottom left. Yeah. This upside down U is 900. Oh, actually, we could, yeah, do a lot of this. This is kind of all over the place. There's a lot of stitching of this. Although I kind of do want to do more of the bright yellow. I don't know what color I want to stitch to next. Hmm. and do more 741. So 741 is diagonal slanty down that piece there and it's mostly in bright spots of the fire. So it's gonna be a little bit of hopping around. I feel like I kind of want to hop around a little bit, you know? Switch it up. There's some of it kind of... Ooh, yeah, let's do that. We're gonna do that. Alright. 741. This guy. We're gonna do this. It's this bright, bright orange color. So I said, once you get a lot of it laid in, it's kind. then you can kind of hop around wherever you please wherever it, you fancy yourself going. You just gotta get to that point where you can, you have a, plenty of places that you can work off of that you've already got done. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and work on that for a while. Like so it's gonna take me a minute to kinda sort myself out and figure out where, where we're working. And what I may even do, let's see, I don't think, I don't think there's any of it up here. that in there. It's just this color like right here. That's that bright bright color. So it'll be spots where the flame is the brightest. So I just gotta figure out where that is right now. And right now I think I need to move the Q-snap though to get to this part over here where the flame is pretty bright. Okay. Ah. 
easy to move like I said you can just like take it off and shift you just have to have enough on that it can like latch on over here I want to move it over so that I have more space here to, to stitch on but I think I have this on even a little crooked <laughs> Once I get this corner area over here done, then I can move it back over. So I just need to get this bottom area here. Like I said, where that flame is super bright, there's some of this color to lay in. So we gotta lay that in first. Like I said, I think. It's there. There's one single stitch of it there. And unfortunately, I don't think I can jump all the way over there. So I'm going to have to do one stitch tie off and then do this little corner. Okay, so yeah, like I said, let's do our one singular stitch. <laughs> one square of this color here. Let me triple check, make sure this is the right color. 741. Yes. Alright, so it's like a super bright orange and it goes right in between here. <laughs> yep, so boom, one stitch, tie off, done. <laughs> Yay, one little stitch I just did there. <laughs> Hello's on fire. Oh my god, Drew, I totally sing it every time I work on this. I'm like, this Elmo's on fire. <laughs> What's up, Drew? How's it going? He's getting there. We're getting the fire going. We're getting there. Come here, pup. Want to cheese it? There you go. Yeah. What if he likes the smell of this marker? It's pretty strong smelling. Yeah, he doesn't like it. <laughs> it smells so strong. But I love it. It kind of smells a little sweet even. A little sweet kind of smell. Like it's not like a Sharpie marker. It's like different. Okay, so I'm just going to tie off here. Oh, same. I feel like my favorite though, well obviously I do like a good classic sharpie, like a big shipping, like the thick fat ones, but like I, I loved those marker or the markers that like were scented markers, like, like this one smells like strawberry, this one smells like blueberry, like I love, or grape, grape, they're great smelling ones. I freaking love them, I had a set of those, they're the best. It's like, oh, I can draw and they smell good? What? Those are my favorites. Alright, now we can do this area. This is this corner. Yes. I think this will actually be 
Oh yeah, because I guessed it. I. Oh, I did have one single stitch of it over there. That's funny. Kind of was hopping around a little bit with this color, but I didn't do all of this corner yet. Ooh, we're gonna start over here with it. Yeah, no one liked licorice. Licorice, licorice is garbage. It's so gross. I'm always amazed when I meet somebody who actually legit likes actual licorice. Like, they're monsters. Like, who are you? <laughs> it's gross. Licorice is nasty. I never cared for licorice of any kind. I do like Twizzlers. But, like... Like, black licorice, I just don't understand. Other than for, like, decorating stuff, like, black li licorice did nothing for me. It was gross. I remember my mom used it to decorate, like, make, like, spiders with, like, the black, like, licorice. Like, spider cupcakes. But it's like, I would just take off the black licorice and throw it away. Because <laughs> it was gross. It's like, oh, I'm not going to actually eat this. This is nasty. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to eat the cupcake with the spider toppings. Same thing with like, I never cared for the candy like Red Hots. Those little red, little circle things. Like, cause they're like kinda like spicy. Like they're like hot. And I never cared for that. So I would use them to decorate Christmas cookies and then I would just take them off and throw them away. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't need that on my, co my cookie. It's gross. Let's see, all right. So this is gonna be the actual corner here. We're getting to it. I love it. This is awesome. Okay. Um, I go over three. I will mark off real quick. Just there's not a lot of this, but I want it. It's, it makes it easier to see what I'm doing. Three. way. Do this. And do these two lines. And then come back down to and work my way to back to the left again. This is a nice bright part of the flame so it'll make it a little prettier. <laughs> There's so many dark colors on it right now, I kind of want to liven it up with some brighter colors. Do some standout colors. Since we have laid in so much, we should be able to. This will be the very edge. One more is our edge. Look how bright it shows up. This color is crazy bright. for this. We should be able to finish this whole corner here with this one strand. Easily. I smell my marker. It smells so good. <laughs> you smell it, then you work. Then you mark off. Now, I don't always mark off everything that I work on. Like, smaller stuff where I can, like, count pretty easily. 
I'll like just kind of eyeball, but like I have like complex stuff where there's like a lot of little stitches kind of here and there. It's always helpful to like mark off. Another way you can do this, if you have like a smaller pattern that is like maybe like just that big, you can like pull up the PDF on your computer and obviously you don't have the ability in like just a reader to like draw on it, but you can um, print screen it into a uh, into paint and then you can like mark off as you're going you can even do that on like an iPad like there's certain software that you can get for free that like you just yeah can draw oh, okay well thank you really nitty knitting thing your knit things really I keep wanting to say really nitty things <laughs> like really nitty really knit things um or knit tea things is that right well I will we'll say knit tea things Oh, you do that with your knitting patterns? Very nice. It's just so convenient, isn't it? Like, you just mark off that way. Like, I like having the physical paper, but, like, for smaller stuff, I like to just throw it on my... Oh, yeah, knit things. Okay, I keep wanting to say knitty things. <laughs> really knitty things. That'll be your nickname. Knitty things. <laughs> You have like your actual name and then you have the mistake name that I give you. Which is just me incorrectly reading <laughs> whatever your names are. Many people have them. Not everybody. But some people have the joy of me not being able to read properly. spot right here is my very corner it's kind of like finding the corner piece of a puzzle there it is I found it it's right there's the corner it just took a while to get there because when you start in the middle work your way out you don't get to the corner very quickly so yeah <laughs> I'm excited to finally get there So again, this is like the bright part of the flame. Kind of fun to switch it up to like the brighter yellow-orange rather than these dark burnt oranges. <laughs> like copper colors. Three. 
over them up. Pull in a couple more stitches and then we'll be already done with this little corner here. is all the yellow on this side even already there boom check it check it out okay. let's mark that off oh no my marker fell out back. The whole thing fell out. Whoops. Snap back in. Damn it. There we go. <laughs> the whole thing fell out. Whoops. That's fine. I think it's okay now. I can just like it. Just like pull it out. Oops. Okay. Oh, what did I do? I did this here. and I will need to move the key snap again because I don't think this color shows up anymore on this side. I think I already did that little bit there of it. So I think it, the next it occurs is on this side over here. Actually, you know, like there. Only like a couple stitches of it. Let's say one, two, three, five. I may actually see if I can't use the th the short thread that I have here to stitch those five. Like it's not super long, but it's not super short either. So I think I may be able to utilize this. Can't make the most of this thread. Because why not? If I can make the most out of a short thread, it makes me feel better. I'm very frugal with my thread. I like to try to stretch it out as much as I can. Not like I'm tr like trying to use it sparingly, but like it just makes me feel good knowing that I got the most out of every little bit of thread. So I don't even need to move it over too far, but I'll kind of move it out to where it's more on that side and this side. Just because I'm done over there for now. Back on. 
Perfect. Okay. Get some of these little loose hairs off of there. All right, so now I'm gonna try to use this little bitty strand to stitch. So there's only like five stitches of this. I think I could tie it off, yeah. So it'll be like toward the top of his head. Um, but I need to count. So from here, I need to count down. Well, I need to go one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five squared is down, one over. One, two, three, four, five, and then one over, just there. One, one, two, three, four, five, it should line up. down there yeah but then I need to go down one further so one two three four five over and then I went down one so this is where this should be and then as long as I counted that out right I should be able to line up it's only five stitches, so I should find out real quick if I am in the wrong spot. One. Two. diagonal one two three should be two above that and it looks like we are so it looks like I counted everything out correctly so that's cool one two jump all the way down there so we're just gonna tie that off because we only did a whole five stitches different yellow close to him, kind of outside of him a little bit. Okay, and I 
should be able to use this guy. These shorter little bits of thread are great for doing these like little areas where I have to kind of hop around. They're just the right length. Try and see if this can't be long enough. So, looks like looks like it's just next to here. One, two. So I think it looks like it goes right there. get this color done tonight. There's not very much of this particular color, so I'm going to maybe try to finish it here and then maybe call it a night. So there's not much more of this color I need to do. Counted everything out correctly, so everything's still lining up as it should. So that's a good thing. This is where we have a little bit of a jump. Not too far. Again, all this kind of lines up nice enough. Okay. <clears throat> and now we have to come down. Here. Only two stitches though. 
And then we jump down to the last four stitches. So that will finish up this strand just perfectly. But I think, like I said, we'll be done with this color all together. Well, after I go down, there's a little bit of it down there. This, yeah, that's a bit of a jump all the way down here to these four. So one, two. This might be a longer strand. Ooh, yes, you are. That one's actually kind of too long. I may have to cut that in half. Let's see. How long is this guy? Yeah. I could probably just use that as is. Just make it have like a longer tail. Mm -hmm. Throw my needle, mark off what I just got done. Then we'll finish this last little bit of this color. And I can mark off a whole color because I definitely don't see this color anywhere else. Now sometimes I'll mark off a color and then realize that there's like one stitch of it somewhere else. So that's why it's helpful to like use a highlighter to mark stuff off rather than like a pen or something or like a black marker. Because then it's like you won't be able to see what that color was supposed to be and I like the symbol so it's like don't mark it off completely because <laughs> sometimes you might have to come back to it if you realize you marked it off and it's not supposed to be marked off ah yeah I hate it when that happens I'm trying to knot this there now we got it okay so this guy's gonna be a little longer but that's okay to finish this last little bit. There's only like, I want to say like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> There's only like eight stitches, so we're gonna be done in, with this in like a minute. <laughs> Maybe then I can pick out my next 
strands that I'm gonna do my next color. Although there is this one color that there's like a lot of stitches of that maybe I'll do next. It'll like fill in a lot of this fire flame area. It's like, I think it's this orange. It's like a little brighter. It's not as dark as this outside and it'll blend well. I think I did some of it over here. Let me see. Yeah, so I did some of it. So it's kind of like this in between the dark dark and then in between the light light. So it's like kind of that in between this orange. So I might do that next. A lot of that stitching, so I'll probably be on that color for a while. Alright, but since I had already started over here, I have this stitch, so I only need to count over three. One, two, three. To there. So we've got these two, two stitches of this kind of over here on its own. And then, like, the other six we have to kind of jump over to. Only, like, five squares, so it's not super far. I still don't like to jump very far, but it's, it's not so bad. I can actually jump a lot more squares since these are so tiny. I can always jump more than I think, and it'll be fine. Which, all it does is kind of make it have a lot of, like, little... Little jump lines on your back, and I don't really care about the back. <gasps> Scarlet! Hey there! How are you doing? Why are his eyes like that? So his eyes are like that because I haven't finished them. Um, so it's, uh, I had uploaded the photo, like the actual meme of this, into the pattern generator. So like a lot of these are different shades of like kind of like off-white. So they'll end up being his eyes. I still have like quite a bit of stitching left to do in there to, until they're all laid in. But there's like only just little bits of color here and there. I got burnt out on them. Yeah, you did. I haven't been streaming very much. Uh, I've been busy. <laughs> so I've only streamed like one day a week the last couple weeks. And I think I even took, I took like two weeks off um, when my dad got COVID because I was like worried that he was gonna need me to like drive him to the hospital. Uh, what? Oh, I guess you do get a cheese it for Skylar being here. <laughs> there you go. He knows. He knows when his cheese its are here, won't ya? You've already got one. You got one. Yeah. <laughs> he like pushes off. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's doing much better, though, so, like, he, luckily he got to the hospital, like, really fast, like, as soon as he got symptoms, and so he was able to get on the, like, treatment, since he is, he's pretty high risk with asthma and being older. Uh, yeah, he's doing much better. He said he still doesn't have 100% of his taste back, so that's weird. <laughs> he said he gets, he has, like, maybe, like, half of it. Like, he can kind of taste, like, what something is, but... He doesn't 100% taste like so if he, he were to drink like a strawberry shake he could tell it's strawberry but like he can't really like taste the strawberry like he, he only has like hints of flavor <laughs> so yeah he lost his taste pretty bad like he couldn't taste anything which i guess that's kind of like the, the the weirdest part like not be able to taste So, you yeah, know, he was lucky. He didn't, I mean, he got it, but, like, he didn't get it as bad as some people where they have to be on a respirator. So, he didn't, he didn't have it that bad. He was definitely very sick, but not hospital stay beyond one night sick. <laughs> and that was just the first night immediately because he did have trouble breathing. But, yeah, he didn't, luckily he didn't need to be on a respirator. Thank goodness. Two. Now we go up two, which will connect to that to there, which is perfect. We go over. 
over one up three and then I think that's the last of this color is completely done it's not very much of this is like a bright color but I don't think it's the brightest of the yellow I think maybe there's some more of the yellow like orange sprinkled in to kind of like we'll see as I lay more in I think there's other shades that are light as well There's like a lot of different colors with this. Oh, you miss, missed a week of work just waiting on a COVID test because your daughter wasn't feeling well and had to get one too. Oh, you used all your sick time. It's not even winter. Oh no. That stinks. Yeah, luckily I think at work we had like, um, because I did self-quarantine for two weeks. Um, but I, I was able to work from home. Like they gave me a laptop, so I was able to help. I will say, I will miss working from home, it was really nice. But I do kind of, like, there's a lot I do now where I physically need to be there. Like, I put together estate planning binders of all people's, like, different documents. And I do our, like, will indexing and stuff now. So it's, like, all stuff that you need to be able to update and have, like, the physical safes are like in the building so I have to like be able to update those so wouldn't be convenient for me to work from home now when I was just pretty much primarily doing dictation and like document production it was pretty nice oh you're capable of working from home they won't let you Ugh, yeah mine my work doesn't want to let us but like if they have to like they like format laptops like in case of emergency type thing like as the need arises like which now the self-quarantine seems to have hit, like the cdc guidelines have loosened so and my quarantine was like right the day before they like loosened them so you wouldn't have to like be on quarantine as long like now you only need to like if you don't have symptoms you only have to quarantine for like seven days with a negative test or like 10 if you just don't have symptoms and you don't want to get a test so four days less than I would have got, you know, so kind of glad that I was able to milk it for one more day, well, a couple more days, you know. All right, let me see where's water. Oh, I need to mark off what I just did, which is here. I did you, you. Yeah. And yeah. It smells so good. Okay. Do you want to smell this marker? It smells so good. Alright. Um. Yeah, he's looking really good. actually end on that I mean I do think I want to like oh and I do have to mark off that I finished this color so these are kind of the different colors I've already gotten done it's not very many <laughs> but I'm kind of getting there bit by bit so 741 we're done with the oh excuse me can mark that off you as well. Smell, smell. So this color also is almost done. There's like maybe eight more stitches of it to do. Um, yeah, so I think like some of the eye colors would be like these shades of like terracotta, ultra light, like apricot light. Mahogany, ultra berry light, or pumpkin pale. I think those are all different, like shades in the eyes. Oh, I'm totally, yeah. <laughs> They're not that strong. Man, this is from 2009. Which it makes sense because, oh, well, yeah, like 2009, 2010, I think, when I was like in school. 
2008. Yeah, no, I think this would be like my freshman year. I took this class. 2009! <laughs> Markers maybe have it for me, yeah. Oh yeah, and I do have, I have an orange Sharpie here. Let's see. Let's smell this one. That's fine. I would definitely recommend this blue over that orange. If you're a connoisseur of marker <laughs> marker sampling. <laughs> I won't say sniffing because that is very drug or <laughs> sniffing. You're huffing it. <laughs> Whoops. Let's see here. I guess that is just little sprinkles of that color here and there. Is that X with a dot? What is that color? X with a dot. Oh, it's 3685. I don't think there's very much of that. X with a dot there. It's like a little bit of it. Oh, yeah, I didn't want to pull another color. Mm. Oh, that's three times black. Actually, there is some black that I'll probably do in his mouth. I'm just not going to do the black that's, like, out here. I'll do the black that's in here. Um, I made this one. It took a lot of fiddling with it, too, to get it to look just right. Um, because pattern software has a lot of difficulty picking up the right colors to make it look right when it's just this detailed like a photo like that one I use the same software to make that laugh factory picture of my brother as I did for this and it takes a lot of sizing and realizing like how big you need to make it to make it look detailed enough how many colors there's a lot that goes into it if your marker kind of sewer actually want to know. <laughs> yeah, I kind of do too. I want to meet a marker kind of sewer. I mean, I imagine it's just an artist. But an artist that also likes to smell their markers. <laughs> it looks bigger. Oh, than the piece. Yeah, so, I mean, if you look at it, like, yeah, the, the piece... Because, I mean, obviously the... the this looks a lot bigger because the squares are a lot bigger. So, like, if I were to measure, I don't think I have. Where's my my measuring tape? I don't think I have it handy. Oh, well, like these squares are a lot tinier than these squares. Like, I think one square of this could fit four squares. So this probably is about twice as big. Like twice the size. So this is twice as big as this. You like ma- oh like the smell of magazine paper? That's it. That's a very like specific thing. Something that smells amazing. Oh yeah liquid skin. Is that like the band-aid stuff? Liquid skin? Like that you like paint on band-aids. You look forward to getting boo-boos. <laughs> That's amazing. Too funny. You like purposely hurt yourself just so you could get you some. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and thread this. I'll probably call it a night, but I want to at least have this like ready to go with my next, my next thing. thread that back on just to kind of keep my workspace tidy. I need to be better about being tidier and not messing it up. Oh yeah, new magazines. They do have a good smell to them. A nice fresh magazine. Especially like those big like fashion magazines. They just smell more magazine-y than other magazines. You know, like smaller magazines may not have that or as thick a paper it feels like maybe. Wear shoes, two sizes too small. Get, get blisters, new skin! Ew! I don't think that would be worth it. 
I feel like more like... Ooh, I almost said purposely give yourself like a paper cut, but I feel like that would hurt. And not be worth having that smell. Hi! Can I help you? You stink. You have that winter dog smell, like that oily, like, oily fur. Oh, did you burp in my face? Thank you. Hey, little fur. Fur face. <laughs> Comes up, he does, he just smells like a winter dog. They get that oil in their skin that helps them stay warm, but makes them stinky. Yeah, I don't really read magazines anymore either. I think... I want to say the last time I bought just like a magazine was like when I was in the magazine. <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, the internet, that's true. Yeah, the only time I buy one is if I really want to keep it. I did subscribe to a magazine for a little while. Then I, I guess I didn't anymore. Maybe because I wasn't like reading it. <laughs> or like I wasn't getting anything out of it. So I was like, eh, nah. Never mind. I don't want it. Right? Right. Oh, you'd buy three or four at a time? I think, I feel like I used to subscribe. Oh, I used to subscribe when I was a kid to Horse and Rider. I did read those through, like, my teen years. I subscribed to Horse and Rider. Yeah, so out of date, right? Oh, PC Magazine came with CDs. <laughs> That's funny. What else did I- I feel like I subscribed to other stuff, too. I feel like at one point, I think I even got trolled and somebody, like, signed me up for magazines. I was getting all these weird magazines. That's, like, such a trolly move. Like, people just, like, sign you up for magazines that are weird. Not, like, nudie or anything, but just, like, weird. Like something that'd be like, well, I would have never thought to subscribe to that one, but okay. Someone decided for me that I would. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna at least get this thread started so I know where I'm working when I start this up again. But, uh, actually, maybe I should take a picture of it so we can post a picture in tonight of our progress. I feel like that would be cool. Gotta take a picture for the interwebs. I don't feel like I don't post as much as I used to. I used to post a lot. Now I like hardly ever do. <laughs> Pictures! ATV magazines! <laughs> All kinds of random stuff. Oh yeah, back when three dollars were still a thing. I think the only time you hear about ATVs is when like somebody dies on one. Like I remember when um, it was who was it? Uh, it was a member of Dave Matthews Band died on in an ATV accident. Now you're officially classing yourself as a boomer. But no, I mean yeah, like yeah. The only time you really hear about ATVs is like yeah when when somebody died because of it. Which is, yeah, not funny. It's very sad. Roxanne, get down! Get down! Drive me crazy. I need to get this proper picture here. It's really hard to do. I feel like it's, like, too bright. Like, ah! Uh, like, be not so bright. Maybe if I go at it, like, straight up. Like this. Maybe it'll... Ooh, maybe if I close that out. Yeah, that won't be so bright. Right 
Oh, that's actually not so bad. There we go. Just needs to not be so bright. <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty good. I think we did good. Good, good picture. It's not super well. Yeah, it doesn't look good on there, but it, it's good. I promise. <laughs> So yeah, let me pop it back on a Q-snap. I'll probably start on this left-hand side of it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> left-hand side over here. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. I like to say that to like kids. <laughs> like call a kid a boomer. <laughs> okay, boomer. To like kids younger than like mini teeps. <laughs> Three wheelers. I, I feel like they are a thing, they just don't get talked about very much. Like, they used to be really popular. Like, someone in my neighborhood had one. Or, like, in the neighborhood next to mine. I rode one once. Like, I rode on the back of one. That was when I was in, like, elementary school, I want to say. Like, yeah, the one of the families had one. Oh, they were sold new, and there were still national race- Oh, racing series, really? I guess I didn't realize that you could, there were, like, races for them. But I, I do know that, yeah, someone in my neighborhood had one. It was pretty fun. Yeah, they're terrifying. Because then you just hear about people who die from, like, crashing on them. Probably because they weren't wearing what they were supposed to, you know? You could really jack yourself up in an accident on one of those. You know? Scary! Okay, so like I said, I'm starting on 900. So I'm gonna at least start these couple stitches so I know where to go. And then I'll call it. Call it a night. So I feel like we did get a lot done. Was awesome. So yeah, now we're on this U here. So it's like a little bit brighter of an orange. Still not like super bright, but like it'll be brighter than the orange that we've already done that are more burnt orange. This is more of like a bright burnt orange. <laughs> Just yeah, not as dark. So it should look really nice against these where we they're like pretty, it's pretty dark. It's gonna start to like blend that dark into the light yellows that we have. So it'll, it'll get there. Eventually. So you. There. Oh, oh, that looks good. I was thinking that I didn't go in the, the right spot. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Horses jack. Jacking people up for thousands of years. And yeah, I did ride horses. Um, you're a pussy as a kid. You still are. <laughs> you know, I, I, I lived dangerously. I mean, I always wore my helmet on horses. I feel like I, I did kind of, like, I feel like if I were to ride now and get thrown, like, I would just die. Like, when I was a kid, I, you could throw me around. I could bounce back pretty well, like, have the wind knocked out of you. Now you fall, like, my butt would be broken. Like, if I landed on my butt like I did when I was a kid, like, obviously the sand kind of broke your fall a little bit, but I felt like I fell pretty hard when I was a kid. Like, how did I not break things? Like, I never had a broken bone, even though I did have, well, and I did get stomped on one time. I had a horse literally step on me with, like, all of its weight, like, crashing down. I mean, it was like a little smaller horse, but still, I was like, ouch. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think of Christopher Reeve. Yeah, he is definitely the poster child for when horseback riding goes wrong. <laughs> oh, they've been taking lessons, so you ride sometimes. But you feel, oh yeah, I feel very old. I bet you're sore for like days when you ride. Even just like sitting on a horse, like you get sore. 
even just like at a walk like you're still like you're holding yourself on there and you're like making them go and it's like the muscles in your legs like holy crap they really it's a workout man definitely it's bonkers all right well let's see here here's all me yeah look at my mess behind me and look at, there's my stack of uh thread boxes out there because rather than like come upstairs every time I needed a new thread I like during my self quarantine I just took them all downstairs and that's how I just put them back in the hallway there. So that's like a big stack of all the colors over there this is like my shipping area that I've not cleaned in a while I said with Christmas it's been kind of like been really busy with making sure I have enough boxes for everything so I kind of put all the boxes I get over there we rode trail horses in North Carolina a couple times went on a vacation it's so fun like I love the leisureness of like a trail ride like not worrying about like the correct way I mean those trail horses literally just take you <laughs> Oh yeah, scary to be on something. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, if one of them spooks and freaks the rest of them out, like, you're all dashing and it's, it's dangerous. Like, it really is. Definitely not something to, like, underestimate, you know? Like, you gotta respect the power of the horse. But yes, check it out! There's our, our Elma in progress. Look at him! He's glorious. Let's see if it'll... Yeah, there it is. It's kinda focusing a little bit. I just need it to yeah, you can see how tiny these stitches are. It's insane how little they are. They're so tiny. Very little. <laughs> Christmas chaos must be a branch of the North Pole. Yeah, there you go. That's that's that uh that building where they transfer finished toys to the shipping. De well, I guess Santa is the shipping department. Never mind. it runneth over it really does oh yeah helmo i like how people call it helmo <laughs> um oh Maka. hi there so we are gonna raid because it's been ages since i've raided somebody so i feel like we need to right like hey moto's still alive let's raid oh here's rexon rexon gonna raid with us it is almost morning porch time i'm prematurely ending stream the 20 minutes just because I kind of hit a nice stopping point. <laughs> so I didn't make it to morning porridge time, but that's okay. It's okay. We're at least here, and I'm gonna try to be here more. You know? <laughs> We're gonna try to be more consistent. I'm also gonna try to do all the things that I want to do. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot, but I feel like I want to stay busy and we'll be able to, we'll we'll fill that time don't you worry we're gonna we'll fill all of the time let me see it looks like uh, how about oh excuse me <laughs> um, i feel like there's some people i follow that i'm like who are you oh, like maybe i followed them when their name was something else. Or maybe it's just been so long that I'm like, mm. oh, thank you, Droog. Um, like I said, I'm gonna definitely work on recording a new floss tube. I'm gonna try to start doing, uh, oh, someone's doing a cross stitch here. I know they sometimes do so. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do, I, I already know who we're gonna, 
We're gonna raid these here. Oh. They do have ads, so <laughs> make sure. Ragsad! No! So, so, we're gonna raid So Passion. Yes, good night, guys. Thank you so, so much for hanging out. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm gonna do some recommending of TV shows, movies, maybe even books, since I'm reading again now. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, record the floss tube. I need to make cookies this weekend, so you'll see some photos of those, I'm sure. My car is going to get worked on, so I'll be doing some stitching. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, he's so polite, isn't he? Just the most polite boy. Although his gas does seem to be a little better, so at least he's not stinking me out. But anyway, yeah, so check out the website if you haven't already. That would be, boom, this baby. It takes you to previous projects, but there's like other, a couple other tabs. I'm going to work on building the website up a little bit more. <laughs> but I said that before, we'll see how much I actually do. Otherwise, let's go say hi to Soap Passion is who we're raiding. So let's go. Good night, everybody. Boop, 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 boop. Now I gotta stop.